It used to hurt me. Then I loved everybody. And people was treating me like I was nothing. People didn't realize there was nothing I would do for the people of God. I would deny myself for the people of God. And the very people who I would do things for would spit in my face. Talk about me publicly and act like it was all right. Then one day, my mother said, she said, son, go to Psalm 37. I went to Psalm 37. And they told me,
where God sees. Oh, oh. oh there's a revelation. There's a revelation. There's a revelation. So what's the revelation, Pastor? <laughs> he didn't say. When you tell him that you're hated, ha, but the Bible said, when God sings, that you hate it, ha, you don't have to ask him. Ha, he's ah. God got your back, church. God got your back, church. God got your back, church. So, ah, can I say it this way? Ah, just for an example. Ah, you may not have could hit some notes. Ah, like Mr. and Lisa. Ah, that doesn't give the church ah, the right ah, to go first to the Lisa ah, over another singer. Ah, See, because ah, it's not to the Lisa. It's the mind of God, and if God wants to, He can take somebody that don't have a tool and anoint them to make a joyful noise. Nothing. Do you, do you read that? What did you do? She did nothing. She did nothing for God to bless her. But because somebody hated her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I So, so. Can I say it the way Joseph said it? What did he say, Bishop? He said, when you did it, you meant it. For my back. Some people, 
in the church are spiritually barren. Study Rachel. In the church, study Rachel. I could have read on down into the 30th chapter even further. There's a verse in the 30th chapter, but she got so offended. They said, she said, I envy my sister. Amen. Amen. Not say it happens here with our musicians. You ever see musicians that, uh, there was a time when my son was the National Minister of Music, and he came down there for a song for the National Mass Choir, and there's this drummer, an excellent drummer, and he was going to play. And then when my son said, which song he wanted the choir to sing, now he tells the lead musician, well, that song does nothing for me. Mm. Can I make this up? Jesus. But it says to the, to the leader, that song does nothing for me. He didn't ask what it does for you. He's telling you this is the song the choir is going to sing. Yeah. Right. Amen. So what happens? The ones that normally play like that didn't play that time, right? So what happened? The choir got up, started singing, and the church caught on fire. See, because why? It ain't about who you want to use. And when God sees that you hate it, you make you fool fall. I hope you're here to that. So church, take your eye off your fellow man and look to the hill for which cometh your help. God has enough blessings for everyone. Neither one of us are big and bad enough to stop somebody's blessing. But why are you trying to stop somebody else's blessing? You're missing out on your own. And guess what will happen? The same blessing that you could get, God will take it from you and give it to the one you don't want. When God saw that Leah was hated, he opened a womb. Now God is my witness. I did not come here today to preach that message. I was going to preach about something else. I was going to preach about where is Rachel? Because the scriptures are about Rachel reaching for her, even for her children. And I want to read about, you know, how many wives and how many women well, had so many children and so, so, so. And when I turned there, all I could write down was what the Lord told me to say was the different titles. He didn't give me no notes. All I could write down was where it was found. And he gave me to tell the church. When God saw Leah, was hated. He opened her womb. When God sees that you're hated, yes, it's going to bother you sometimes. You might even have to cry sometimes. But if you stay humble with the Lord, don't kick back. He's going to make you fruitful. Keep quiet here and pray for you.